Now you're live. Oh, Lord! Oh, oh Lord, Lord, don't do me that way. <laughs> TexarkanaFYI.com and Hornhog Radio. Al Green and Gary Sampson joining us. We want to update you with the details about our benefit for baby Blake coming up on June 12th. Um, we're down here at Cross Ties. First off, yeah, we, we are. We're at Cross Ties down on Broad Street. I want to remind everybody there. I don't know if they can see it on that or not, but getting the stage and seating set up for uh, for tonight. Satisfaction is going to be performing down here. It's a have y'all, Rolling Stones tribute band. I've heard about Chris, them. Chris, I've heard about them. Yes, sir. I've Chris heard is about like them. originally. Well, there's a couple of them that are originally from here, but I mean they've been doing international shows. It's a but it's a really big deal. It's going to be down here on the street outside the caboose, um, all that. But on the 12th for Baby Blake. Um, and this is your grandson. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, I hate to to relive it. This child went through some horrific, evil abuse at the hands of his uh, stepfather, um, who, who I'm, I'm, I guess is still out on bail. Yeah, he's laid bail. He's awaiting. We got to we got to speak loud because it's loud out here. I'm sorry. Well, he's a uh, he's out on bail and he's awaiting trial. Well, what we're concerned with is Baby Blake. Yes, sir. What's the latest that we've heard on him? He now has the trach in and the feed tube that's been put on his side, and he'll have five more days in intensive care, and then he should be moved to a regular room, and they think with the trach that they can start doing more physical rehab with him. So, so they, they uh, and I'm, again, I'm sorry, it's just loud right. out here, but so they think they'll be able to start his physical therapy? They'll start working on it to progress him forward and see what he can do, like what he's able, what you know, see what they can work with. What we do know, what we do know is that Blake is going to require care for the rest of his life. We pray not, but more than likely, I mean, yes. Well, knowing what we do know, our good friend Al and, and all the riders around town, because. Uh, our good friend Dwight Neville was all about the kids. The Dwight Neville Memorial Fund has stepped in on, on this, even though the Facebook event page may say that FY is hosting it's a right. It's a Dwight Neville Memorial Fund event. And, and Al, you tell us what we got. Man, we we're gonna I do know. a ride, we're gonna do an auction. I mean We're gonna do we're gonna do poker run, bike show, car show, vendors will be here. We'll have a food vendor on this side, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there will be a woman that will be doing chili from the last from the last car show that they did down here. Right, right. Um, there'll be. We'll line that up out on Broad Street. Yes. Yeah. All that'll be on Broad yeah, Street, cool. except for we gotta have it all this back here, back oh, yeah. blocked off. The whole green's gonna, gonna have bikes everywhere too. In the road. Plus we're gonna we, put bikes out there. If we can't get the bikes in here, all the bikes that show up, we'll get them down here. We want the kids to come down, so we're going to make sure to have a huge children's area. Um, we got bounce houses set up now, you know. Just, yeah, buddy, I see. I may go play on one of them in a little while. <laughs> all right, we, we want a video. No, I don't want no video. I'm good. But this is going to happen on the 12th, and it's starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. There's something just about all day long till, till 4 that afternoon, is it? 4, maybe a little after. It depends. I'm going to start the auction around 1. Okay. Because we have got a lot of stuff to be auctioned off. Tell us some of the, some of the, well, if not the items, some of the folks getting behind this. Because we've had a lot of people step up wanting to make sure Baby Blake's taken care of. The people? Man, there's so many people. Randy Rape, who owns Custom Cycle, he's with us on it. Uh, the Harley Shop is. Drew out there at H&W Honda, they're with us 100%. Liberty Trucking's with us with 100%. It, just, about, it, just about anybody in Texas Canada that you can think of will jump up here and help us. Because they I do understand what the situation is with this young man that's been tortured yeah. by a person. Tortured, yeah. Uh, it, was, it was a bad situation. Lisa Downs come to me and asked me what can we do to help him. My first thing was, have a rally. When we have this rally, 
We'll raise the money. I'll put it in Dwight Neville Memorial Fund. And then we'll go from there. If anything happens to where he has to have expenses paid, the Dwight Neville Memorial Fund will You'll be write giving it check. to him. You'll write the check. Yes, sir. I'll so, write the check. So let's say we find out uh, in his care he's going to require uh, a machinery. It's a $5,000 machine. you you write $5,000. I'll write check the check. Whoever, to the whoever medical lets place. me know, if Gary lets me know or Madison lets me know or Carmen and, or whoever lets me know, then I'll write the check to the people, not to them, can, but to the people. Can I make sure that I'm I'm understanding correctly? Because I, 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 I do know there's other uh, benefit. There's people, you know, doing bake sales or, or, or what have you. know, by all means, uh, maybe Blake's going to need, I mean, we know the medical bills already are going right. to be. Astronomical. I, I don't mean to freak you out, Grandpa, oh, I but I, I know you know. Oh, yeah. And I've been told by people, they say, no matter how much money you have, it won't be enough. They say it just, no. uh, they, from my, I've, had a lot of people reach out that have been through similar experiences and they say there's so many things people don't understand like handicap accessible showers in your house, doorways. They say there's so many aspects of it that people don't realize. Well, and that's the thing uh, as far as this rally goes. And not to say we won't do other, I mean, right. we're always open. I know the Dwight Neville Memorial Fund, Al, and, uh, and the, the men and women that make up the organization over there out to help any children oh, always it's it's always every, about the kids al and everybody that's associated with them i mean you can't imagine how much they've stepped up and what all they've done i mean we've we've not really done anything because they just pretty much through it everybody's just been putting it together listen this community our community here that's that's when things are down it all comes together it really does it does uh, I know, as a matter of fact, when we first started out, we had, we were going to have a band. But then there's like eight bands are like, can we can we come? Can, mm -hmm. How many bands are there now? Two. So there are two. For, there are well, two. It's, there are two. They'll be on that stage right out there. Okay. And if the weather holds out where it don't get real wet up here in the grass and stuff, we'll have tables out here, chairs out here for people to sit and watch the band. And if, We'll do the auction from right up there. Is that you, Dick Tracy? What? I said, is that you, Dick Tracy? Oh, yeah, you know what it is. You can't hide money. No, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I want to bring something up. I want to bring something up. Okay. People talk about the Dwight Neville Memorial Fund. When I met Dwight 20 some odd years ago, I thought he was just an ordinary person just like us three sitting here. Over the years of 20 years that I have worked with him, I have learned he is all about children. He is not about, and he will help anybody. Oh, yeah. Over the years that I have helped him, I have learned to do the same thing. He never showed no greed or I, I can't do this. He always helped anybody he could. And, he, and that's what the Dwight Neville Memorial was made for all about. And, and still is having an effect on local nonprofits because the Dwight Neville Fund is it's the people that make up it, the fund are, are always willing to reach out and help all these different things but true but now where we know where we are they're looking that he, he has improved and, and we're praying you know of course of course we're all praying for complete healing right but we're also being realistic and, and knowing that it's going to be a long road to hope it's going to be long um, but uh, so we we know that uh, let's call this the first benefit for baby Blake. How's that? Well, I, I we, hope this is the only one that's needed, but and we'll keep praying about that. But uh, this is happening June 12th down here, Broad Street corner of Broad and whatever that one is. Is that Olive I Wood? I think it's Olive. Don't know. Right here by the caboose, out on the green. But there'll also be a lot going on inside Cross Ties. Uh, and again, tonight, by the way, this is June 4th, so um, out here on the road, setting up an outdoor stage. Yes, sir? We're gonna do all things, everything we do out here, everything. Well, pain. now you brought up, you brought up weather. Yeah, I just, weather. I, I've already talked to some folks just in case of weather things True. for our auction stuff. Hey, it ain't gonna rain. 
<laughs> June 12th. I just want to make sure. <laughs> June, June 12th. Yeah, no worries. June 12th, we're, we're set and we made some contingency plans, but it's all about baby Blake. Right. And Gary, uh, you and your family, your, your son, Blake's daddy, um, man, our prayers with you. Um, I, I can only imagine what you've kind of been putting yourself through. It's not but been good. Know that you got people what care. That, that that's the only really thing. That's, that's the only thing that's really held us together through all this is the so many people that are that reach out and support with prayer and all the people that are. You know, it's just the community's overwhelming of how many people do jump in and help. It's yeah. just it's been a blessing. It's been amazing. Well, it's and that's just it. I've, I mean, we've all heard from folks that just can't do enough. You know, if you ask them. So, that's true. So, they, they just can't do enough. Yeah. They'll help us out in any way. And, and you tell them, you know, we can use this and they want to do more. This is where we live. So this is why I'm proud to be down here with you. And I want you to know anything we can do to help, uh, we're here for you. We're going to have a good time down here June 12th. Bring all the kids. We'll have food vendors. We'll have entertainment, uh, auction items, poker Live. run. Poker oh. run, poker run, car show, vendors. And listen, when we're saying Bike car show, we're not limited there to is. classics. This is an open car show. Come on out. Every, bring what you got. Got a nice one, bring it. You got a new one? I don't care if it's 2021, <laughs> if it's a uh, 1920. Come on. You know, I mean, I'd like to see the 100 years of cars. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, if we could have that. We got the museum over there, and they've already said, hey, how did we move it down a little? <laughs> you know, if, if you guys want to bring enough cars, we'll stretch it from here down to the auto museum. How's that? All right, it could still grow. Reach out to we can, Al. We can reach. We can go as far as we need to, and I'm gonna talk to him, and he'll block this off all the way back across the back of this and stuff. So. Well, really, now the only folks using Front Street is the police department anyway. So. Yeah. But yeah, we're we're gonna make this happen, and we're gonna take care of Baby Blake as best we can. And we appreciate it. Well, we can't we, thank y'all enough. We can't thank everybody that's been involved enough. But it is for Blake. That's all that matters. Blake. Yeah, no, 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 but man, just such a, such a horrible thing, but to see the good people come out because of it, um, just know that your community cares, and uh, we can't wait to get Blake back here home. Right. That's, that's, that's our ultimate goal. That's home. my goal, right? That's um, my goal, is to make sure that he is taken care of to the best of everybody's ability. That's right. All right, gentlemen, uh, we'll just let everybody get back to work, or, or let you get back to your weekend. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it.